Hey guys, up? This is Buggy. So yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to keep your sorry my pillow, your um backpack organized or how I keep it organized. So yeah, look at my Starbucks cup. Starbucks. Anyway, so I have my phone right here, and it's 1.14 on a Friday, <laughs> and I'm exhausted. So, this is my backpack, guys. And, um, so, I'm going to be showing you five or four tips, or just a number of tips, on how to stay organized. And, yeah, so personally, in here, I have all the same stuff that I've showed you in the past, like, four backpacks for what's in my backpack, um, but, um, first tip, if you're in art, or if you're in high school, or middle school, or college even, I know they take exams and everything, and for art class, I take as, um, an extra, um, class, um, they've always asked me if I would like to borrow, like, cause, so, in my school, there's 15 or 20 kids in a class, and I have one section or stools and a metal table with lockers under it where you keep your paints, your, you keep your paints and your um, art supplies in there, and every single student has one, so yeah, I have my own color pencils that I keep in my backpack at all times just in case someone steals it. But yeah. I have pastel colors, dark colors, bright colors, um, skin colors, and my paintbrushes and paints are actually all packed, so I had to pack those. And my art teacher is pretty cool about me like bringing that stuff home. So he lends us stuff. Like, the school buys, they buy it from the Dollar Tree sometimes if they're, like, out of money, sort of, sometimes. I know my old, old school did that from STEAM, science, um, technology, art, um, electronics, and math. So, yeah. I know that they did that before. But always good to keep your own art supplies if you're in art in here. Um, I usually keep my phone in here. Or um, my tablet, because I know some teachers let you, let, you, uh, let you go on that stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, make sure you check that. And, yeah. Next, um, another tip is to always carry pencils with you. I know I'm that kid that was in third grade. I did this when I was in fourth grade. I've been doing this for three years now, so fourth, fifth, and sixth now. I've been doing this for about three years three and a half years maybe, and I've always carried brightly colored pencils, because I'm that kid that just buys stuff because they're colorful, but like they didn't, like, I'm the kid that buys stuff that is colorful, but don't really like the colors and end, uh, end up painting them, but I discovered this year they have got pencils like this in a 50 pack of dark colors, like gray and black, and I was all like, I'm dying right now, but my mom wanted to buy it for me because she was all like, I already got you, brightly colored ones, so, yeah. Next, always label your stuff. I don't know about you, but I know about me, I always label my stuff. You can tell, like, these I don't have to label because, like, they're in art class, so, like, yeah. And you don't share an art class with that stuff unless it's school provided, but... I always label my stuff, and on here it says the McCullough family, and in case if I lose it, it has my address right here, and then it has, um, like, little cartoons of my family, and it's, like, so cute. So, yeah, I label all my stuff, and in here I've also labeled my stuff. I label every single notebook with, um, what's it called, duct tape. So yeah, my pencils have duct tape, 
Oh, by the way, I always get these pencils. They're amazing. Even though they're eight dollars for two of them, they're amazing. I label my highlighters. Yeah. I labeled my other pencil. I labeled this one. Yeah. Oh, and this one. See, it's always good to label your stuff. To double check you don't lose it. But yeah. Mm, there is Sprite in here with Mountain Dew. So I'm on a sugar high. My hair. It's so soft today. Anyways, so these are my notebooks if you did not know if you're new to my channel those are my notebooks and uh, my notebooks are labeled with quotes or some type of sticker or um picture on it so on my five subjects right here i ripped out three of them so i have um, quizzes in the front right here and then in the back Going to this orange paper is science. So I have science written right here. So this is science and this is um, quizzes. So yeah. And it has my duct tape and um, I take packing, packing tape and just lay it across it so it's easier to um, make sure it doesn't like, you can't like pick it off. And I hate it when kids pick off the stuff. So yeah, and this notebook was the five star notebook, but I like, they didn't have the white one that I always get every year, or the black one, so I got the turquoise one, and I do not like, like, bright colors on my notebooks, unless it's mandatory, so I just paint it over it, so yeah, <laughs> so I have this one, and it's very simple, very easy, and my, comp my um, composition notebook's downstairs. But yeah, this one has um, my labeled one. What these are pickles and see, and it says dill with it, D I L L. See, and it's very um, cute and organized. And yeah. Oh, and always write your name and your last name, and the class this is for, so they'll know. Because if you're in middle school, you know the struggles. Um, I have this one next. So here it is, and this is the yin and the yang, and so if you guys do not know the story about the yin and yang, I'll explain it real quick. So it says it's the bright side of is the yang, and the yin is the dark side, and if it's a bad day, there's always ups in it, and if it's a good day, there's always downs. So that's why I put this picture, because I thought it was lovely, and I have my little stripes in here and this is math just about cute it's so cool it's pretty okay next these two are math <laughs> so oh and um if you have a sketchbook always keep that with you in your backpack but mine's at school right now because i had a project then i had to like turn it in so it's like yeah Next, I have this cute one, and it describes my crush right here. So, yeah, and it says, wanted. And it says, my crush, crime stole my heart. Last scene, making me smile. Reward, one million trillion dollars. So, yeah. I just did this to it, because I thought it was, in the, I thought it was so adorable. So, it has my label. Um, yeah, those two were masks. This is social studies, and this is a quote on it, with the yin and the yang right there. So there's a picture of the yin and the yang. I like this one because it looks a little, like, weird. But, like, um, how it has the schools on it relates to the, um, what you would call it, quote. So it says, on the quote, um, I'm the kind of friend who will help you hide a dead body. But if you betray me, just remember, I know how to hide a dead body. So it's a little weird, but whatever. And I labeled it with my cheetah one. And in here, I have my name, my class, and my last name as well. So, oh, and I have my grade. So in here, 
These are some of Cornell notes when I returned the, my thing so I can have help. But whatever. Um, so these are Cornell notes. Simple, easy to remember Cornell notes. And this is for social studies. And I have learned about early humans, civilization, new empires, Egyptian, old kingdom, and Egyptian empire. And then right now, I've just left off on... Anybody else do this, but like, when they're, like, if you have highlighters, you like start doing stuff like that. So yeah. I'm learning about, um, the son of Reed. So yeah. I have four notebooks. Five notebooks, sorry. Well, six if you count the one downstairs. And the one downstairs is black. So, and they're in order of what, well, they were in order. Okay, now they're in order of my classes. So, I have math, which are those two notebooks. Then I have social studies, and then I have um, science and quizzes. Next in here, I have another tip for you guys. So, if you... If your parents do not like buying you paper clips or um, sticky notes, it's fine. Um, but yeah. So in my um, social studies um, class, she likes um, us to be organized. Well, she doesn't like. She doesn't care, but I like being organized. And um, only my core class gave me a number, which is weird because we're in middle school. I haven't gotten numbers since I was in, like, second grade. But she gave us a number. And I'm number 17. So, yeah. And ancient civilizations. So, I take hair clips. And this is what I'm, I have to study. This little thin chapter. I just have to study this little thing. Then it's only 15 pages. I have to study this because I have a quiz next week. So yeah, and it's green, and it has this on it. So paper hair clips are good to use. Next for agenda, this is my agenda. Um, some people actually don't use this. I use this every single freaking day because my life is amazing. Um, no. So, <laughs> let me find my page I'm on. What the frick? What page am I on? Okay, this was last week. And, so here it is. <laughs> it's my agenda. I wasn't kidding when I said I used it every day. So, on Monday, Monday, I was doing on Monday, Monday, I had Spelling Due Friday, Moby Math, and Vocab 4.1, and that's it. Next, my older brother had eye surgery, and then uh, asked for grades because I needed to know so I can make up extra credit if I need it. And then I need it for math, um, fractions, and whole numbers, and stuff like that. Vocab 4.2, and then Question and Highlights. Over here, question and highlight. Um, quiz on Thursday, uh, 6.1, because this is Wednesday. And arm shots, I had to get shots for my arm. Next on this side, this is Thursday, and I was packing. Um, writing due Friday, spelling due tomorrow, composition notebook page, test Friday, study, GRA 2.2, question and Quiz on layers for science is in question highlights. That was my friend Tyler's um, birthday. Is in over here. I have no one. My my cousin right here. 
birthday. Then I got detention right there. Because, let's see. Because I didn't um, get my agenda signed. But this week I did. Let's see, I got it all signed. So, yeah. Moving on, you always need a folder. I hate binders. If you know me, I hate them. Um, so this is one. It's owl because owls are bay. They are guardians. So right here, I have music notes for my friend that needs help with his violin or his cello. I mean, and then I have my YouTube emails and passwords right here, which I'm not gonna show you guys. But yeah, so let me cover that first. Okay, so. I have two pockets in here. Here's a pocket right here, and I put a little sticker of this pop-up flower. And then over here, I have another pocket, and it's just like a little like leash right here. And then these ones are owls. So yeah. And then after my YouTube emails, my friend Angel is the sweetest thing. So fourteen made me. He's so kind. Oh, and it's a clipboard too. But it says, Let's See is awesome. And he had some of my close friends write in it or try to have some of the class. And I'll read you one from Angel, the person that drew like it in graffiti. It said, Angel, um, as then like Dash, you are a great friend and you treat me better than anyone ever treated me. Goodbye with a sad face. And then my friend Jenny, or Yenny as I call her, because she's good <laughs> and bad, so that's why I call her the Yang and the Yang. It says, Let's see, so pretty, I'm going to miss her so much, she was cool. And then Ray Ray put, Let's see, you're the best, I, I've never, I never knew I would meet someone like you, I wish nothing but for the best. And then my friend Elisa put, Let's see, you're the best. I am your mini, and I will always be. I'll come and visit you all the time. I miss you so much. Wish you wouldn't leave. I wish the best for you. You as well. And then my friend Aiden put at the very bottom being Aiden. Don't forget me yet, you. Yeah. And then I have some other of my classmates right here, which I'm not going to read. But he was so sweet to do this. I'm going to get it on, like, put, like, on my, like, wall when I move. And I'm going to have it framed. So, bro, my friend Caitlin is the best. <laughs> this is what she wrote and said, hello, my name is dot, dot, dot. And she wrote from Caitlin and <laughs> put, let's see this <laughs> down here. Did you do this freaking hilarious little cartoon in here? So, this is some random girl, IDK, some girl. And I put stuff, like this is me over here. <laughs> she was just writing these like little cartoons and everything. It was so funny. Bruh, it was hilarious. She passed this to me like a week ago in class, and I was all like laughing so hard. And Miss Chang was all like, What are you laughing about? I was all like, Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay, next over here in this pocket, I keep my homework. Okay, homework and quizzes I put in here. So, first, I have my vocabulary for science. So, if you. Next, I have, um, language arts, right here, just this little thing. Next, for, um, math, I have right here, paper, and then for, I need to start this. Anyways, for social studies, I have this, and my art class, I've already finished it, but it's at school. I painted it um, on Monday. 
on Monday, and I finished my painting on some other day. So, yeah. Uh, and I have a last tip for you guys. Um, guys and girls. Um, well, two more. One of them is... Well, three more, I guess, or a couple more. I ha always keep lip balm with you. This is from the beginning of the year, and it's already been half of a quarter, and this is all I have left. And it's mint, because mint is bay. And also keep a calculator with you. I got this one. What about Simpsons one? Um, keep sanitizer with you, because school is dirty as freak. All of you know this. And then, second tip is always keep your makeup you're wearing with you. I always wear these two. I got eyeliner right here and mascara right here. And then, last tip is always keep flashcards with you because they're amazing. And if you're in art, like I am, I carry these ones with me and I doodle through the day on them. Like, I'll draw a picture of a girl going like this, and then the next one will be like this, until, like, it makes, like, a story, like, where it's moving. So, yeah, like, a girl will be, like, sitting like this, and then it'll go like this. Like, slowly, if you, like, flip through the cards, like, really fast. So, yeah, that's everything. Oh, and also keep a little small, like, reminder of, like, to stay out of trouble. And this is mine that I got from Hot Topic, and it says, sometimes it's only my fear of prison food that stops me. And I'll show that to you guys right now so you don't think I'm lying. I got it for my birthday. One of my supporters fans got it for me for my birthday and let me know if you want me to start a P.O. box and yeah so you guys can send me mail so bye